Hey all, this is Isaiah Stanback. Big Nate Newton and I would like to thank the Niagara Corporation for their sponsorship of this week's episode of Let Me Tell You Something. In case you're not familiar with Niagara, they're the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products. Products that save real money, like Niagara's stealth technology toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60%. Niagara also works with affordable housing projects and commercial multi-unit properties to save water usage in dollars where it's needed the most. So, if you want to conserve water and save money, check out NiagaraCorp.com. What's up, good people? It's your boy Isaiah Stanback back in the building for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. Something. And I'm not solo today. I don't have my little minions with me today. I got my dog, Big Nate Dog, back in the building. <laughs> What's up with you, man? Man, just chilling, man, having fun, traveling. Glad you, you, your daughter stepped in doing uh, Black History Month and, and delivered in a big way, you know, uh, Get some heartfelt stories, some heartfelt situations. Uh, I got through it. I can't watch it again. I yeah. can't do that. Yeah. Uh, great deal, man. Uh, your, your babies did well, man. Appreciate it, man. And you, and you led them down the right path with the right responses and the right answers. And, uh, I, you know what? My, my little one, you don't never know what's going to come out of her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. never know. Yeah. My oldest one, she's, she's been on the public platform for a while now, being right. a representative for her type one you know, community. Right. But um, you know, they both have some experiences, man. And you right. know, it's, it's interesting to see how, from a little kid's perspective, because I didn't lead the witness at all. I just, I just asked them straight up questions, right. and that's how they felt, right? right. That's how they interpret right. things. That's how they felt. Those are their real experiences. Um, I know a lot of people were still talking about last week's episode about, right. you know, uh, the racism that my daughter experienced. You know, I know we were talking about Women's History Month, but it kind of transitioned into some of the, you know, experiences that they've had of young African-American women as well. And, man, life is life, right? Yeah. Life is life. You know, wow. I think so often we try to shield people and shield our kids from different experiences. And it's like you can't. You know, life is going to life is gonna do life. And um, you just want to make sure that you have the right foundation, the right faith, all those kind of things in place so that they can make the right decisions and move accordingly. But right. um, but we're back. We're back. You know, it's good to see my dog. You know, tell us tell us about what you did last week, man. man. I, well, I drove up to uh, Colorado, man, and uh-huh. hung out with Prime maybe for about three, four hours, okay. five hours. Just I snuck up on him. He didn't know I was coming, and yeah. uh, I saw him, and we 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 went to lunch, and we talked because we were setting another date so I can come back up there during spring because uh, – when you dub roll up in now, yeah. They, see, they don't want anyone. They're not even on our schedule this year. They, you know, yeah. they don't want to yeah, see. Yeah, your coach got them off real no, quick. No. Oh, they had a conflict wait a of minute. schedules. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now listen. I plan on, and we can right. go ahead. We can go ahead and set this in stone right now. Right. I foresee. Uh huh. Colorado versus Washington for the Pac-12 championship. Wow. And if that happens, Nate, we gotta go. We got to go. We tell the Cowboys right now. Cowboys, Nate and Isaiah will be gone <laughs> the week of the Pac-12 I'll championship. I'll be sitting up in the press box on, on, on my boy Prime's side. Oh, you'll be on that side? Yeah, I'll be okay. on that side. We ain't finna hang out. We ain't finna hang out. Yeah, we ain't finna hang out. Yeah, you better go find right. King Griffin Jr. if you want to hang out with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking, speaking on avoiding on the schedules, I don't know if I brought this up on the show or not. But we were some, you know, you book your schedule out years right. in advance. Right. And typically, what do most colleges do? Big universities, big college football right. programs, they usually book a, most of their first couple games are usually easy games. That's right. That's right. right? Just to get a head start. Yeah. They don't want to, they can't afford to take any losses and mess up their standings for the year. Right. They right. Mess up the cl- college playoff, you know, line up. Right. I understand. So Ohio State booked us years in advance, just like every college does. Right. University of Washington is pretty good. Yes, they are. They got a good quarterback from what good, I hear. Really good, really good quarterback. We finished, I think, top top ten, top five, something like that in the country, uh, in the rankings. So now, all of a sudden, what we used to be is not what we are now. Right. So wow. when Ohio State booked us, however many years ago that was, we weren't the greatest of programs. Right. We were going through a lull, transition coaches. Right. right. Now we're good, but we were already on Ohio State's schedule. So you know what Ohio State did? What? Cancel the game. Wow. 
not the great Ohio State. Ohio State said, you know what? We don't want to play UW in the first couple exhibition games. We're going to cancel that. And we're going to pay a $500,000 fine because that's worth it to us not to take that L early in the season. Wow. So you already given her the L, huh? If that thing would have played. Why why else would they why would they cancel it, Nate? Was it inconvenient? (laughs) Was was it gonna be inconvenient five years ago? It was exactly. Are are they gonna play a game that week? Wow. They still gonna play a game that week, right? That's right. Okay, so while why are you all of a sudden are you now canceling? Yeah. I understand. I understand. I'm just saying they running scared, Nate. They running scared. And you think y'all built that way now. Listen up, Nate. Listen, okay. Doggone it. University of Washington. You know what University of Washington yeah. been in yeah. historically. Yes. Okay, I know we up there tucked off in the Northwest, but we respect it. Right. Okay. Right. We know we're not a, we're not a historically respected like USC. Right. We're not historically respected like uh, uh like uh like Miami of the yeah. old day of or right. Florida State of right. the old time. But we got we we hold some respect now. We got a national championship up there too. Oh, we I like, know, I know, know, yeah. We like the Cowboys. We holding on to that ninety one championship. You know what I mean? We're going to hold on to wow, it. Why, why you always got to try to bring the Cowboys? Why you can't bring the Seahawks holding on to something? Why you can't bring the Seahawks holding on to Nate, something? When the last time the Cowboys won the championship? What year? It's been a while, man. What year was that, Nate? I don't even worry about it. Okay, let's, let's move so on. you dubbed the last one we had was 91. Okay. We holding on to that. Okay. We got a championship, too. Okay? <laughs> so we getting back into that standing. Wow. All right. Um, no, but uh, right now in the NFL, if you guys have not – had on ESPN or NFL Network or any of those other networks that are on TV. Uh, there was the combine. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. There's no football being played. The regular season's gone. The playoffs are gone. The Super Bowl's gone. Senior Bowl's gone. Now it's the combine. Okay, and during that same time in the combine, we have free agency getting ready to start. Mm-hmm. All right, and you have tagging. Yes, that's going on right now. So yes. people are preparing for free agency. That's about to kick off here relatively soon. And then the tagging window came to a close um, as of Tuesday afternoon. I think 4 p.m. Eastern. Right? right, players had to be tagged. Tagged. All right, and there's different levels of tags. Yes. Right. There is a a, a franchise tag that doesn't allow anybody to tamper with you. Okay, um, and then there's a with a franchise tag, non exclusive, yeah, non exclusive joint, right? Um, and people can offer what two first round picks right. or whatever right. it is. So there's there's a couple of different ways to franchise tag somebody, but when you tag somebody, you are paying them the average is a what is it the top three? I think yeah, it's top a, five. Yeah, it's top five. Okay, top, top five. five yeah, highest paid players at your position. Yes, you're, you're paid the average of that. Right. So in regards to uh, what the Cowboys opted to do. The Cowboys opted to do what, Nate? They tagged Tony Pollard. In a t- $10.1 million for one year guaranteed mm-hmm. once he signed the tag. Once he signs the tag. Yes. $10 million. Yes. He broke his fibula, right? Yes. He had a heck of a year. Yes, he did. Great year. Great year. Became the starter. Yes. Will be the starter. Yes. Now, confirmed. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's going to get back to being the same player he was with that injury? I, I I don't know because I think he broke two bones and some te- and, and messed up some tendons. I, I don't I don't know. He's he's back on the field, moving around, running around. Uh, he's young. Mm-hmm. He's still strong. Uh, I, I but the question I have is I don't know. Yeah. And so uh, I, I don't know if I would have tagged him. You know, I probably would have gave him the. Uh, that non-exclusive tag, and, and I would have just happened. seen what happened. You can always match. Or you can always let him, you know, so, but, uh, you know, I'm not ahead of the team building over there, but that's what Nate Pollard would have done. Okay. Do you believe that he should be the starter for, for the Dallas Cowboys? He has to be now. Okay. The tag, the, if you don't mind me saying, yeah, the tag, ahead. if he's signed it, yet you are. You're the man. I mean, you you rushed for uh, you had 193 uh, carries last year. You uh, caught for 39 passes last year. Uh, that's a not. Uh, that's probably around about 220, mm. 228 uh, attempts. I, I think that should go up by another 25 or 30, around about 250, 260 uh, touches. touches. Yep. It, 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 and and uh, and I expect the same productivity uh, even more. Yeah. Uh, if I if I would you know if I can be so kind as to say that is why 
I don't like tags coming off of injuries. I don't like tags of guys that I know who Tony Pollard is and what he is. Last year, I knew what Dalton Schultz was and who he is, and I did not like that signing. Mm. I did not like that tag, and I, and I will say this. It's, it, the Cowboys have a history of tagging and not using. Okay. Uh, the only person that they tagged and used was Dak. Every time we tag a person, it's, it seemed like the next year we don't get the money's worth. Okay. Uh, it's not comparable to the other players that have been tagged at that position. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hoping that Pollard comes in uh, ready to go during training camp and have that magnificent year because Dalton Schultz was, a, was very disappointing to me, unfulfilled. And you're hearing a lot of people still talk about re- retaining him. Yeah, you can retain him at, 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 a, at a very uh, – Compared to the 10 or 12 million they gave him this year, you know, let's reduce that significantly. And and, and if he wants to get out there and somebody wants to pay him, so be it. Yeah. Let me me lay this out for people, okay, because this could be a little bit confusing. The two variations of tags we're talking about are, are, they are exclusive tag and a non-exclusive tag. tag. Yes. The non-exclusive tag allows a player to negotiate with other teams. If a player on a non-exclusive tag agrees to a deal with a new team, the original team can match it or refuse and be awarded two first round picks as compensation. Right. Okay. Now on the exclusive tag, that's what Tony Potter received. Tony Potter received the non-exclusive. So in order for him to not be a Dallas Cowboys, another team would have to offer him a contract, okay? That is more than the con- than the tag amount, I believe. Right. All right. And then Dallas, if they can refuse, they, they can decide whether or not they want to match right. it or you know up it or not. Okay. Right. Um, and if they decide to move on from him, then that team would have to give Dallas Cowboys two first round picks. Don't see and, that happening for Tony Paul. And, and this is the thing that this is the thing is you only get one shot. When you go out there and bring a team to Dallas, mm-hmm. you only get one team to bring. Yeah. You don't get several teams. Like, okay, I found a better deal. Yeah. You have to sort it out. Yeah, figure out which one's the best. Which one the best for you. And then bring that to the table. And bring that to the table because you only get one shot at it. Absolutely. On the exclusive side, it prohibits a player from negotiating with another team and guarantee the player a salary based on the average of the top five salaries at the player's position during that current year or – for 120% of the player's previous salary, whichever number is higher. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now Tony is a non-exclusive? Non-exclusive. Right. So teams can come get him at a running back position. It's not right. happening. But that is what but that is the best, I think, for him. That is I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like I like that because if if a team was to make a run at him. So it's pretty much saying, hey, we want you back. Right. right. So it really what Dallas is doing is putting a placeholder because they really right. don't want to pay him $10 million a year. That's they right. They really want to get a deal done. But right. this gives them the time, I think, gives them all the way till July right. now to work a deal with him that's more favorable to them, to their salary cap, all those things. Now, we don't foresee a team coming to get Tony Pollard no. and being willing to offer <laughs> two first round picks. It's that's right. Not at that position. No. Now, there is a position that teams would be willing to offer two first-round picks. And what position would you say that is? Quarterback. Quarterback. Do you know who else received a non-exclusive tag? Yes, sir. Who was that, Nate? That is the one Ravens, Mm. Lamar Jackson. Mr. Lamar, (laughs) who opted to nurse his injury through the playoffs. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. One thing I've always tried to explain to Raven fans is the Ra- is the Ravens are one of the most player friendly teams I have ever yeah. been a, to know. Yeah, Ozzie yeah. Ray Lewis used to always tell me how players ran that organization yeah. until okay. you think you're bigger bigger than the an organization, and that's when they stop you. They will, you will have a say in how you practice. You'll have a say in how they do things and structure things. But when you go to the front office and say, Don't I try. am the man. Ooh, not receive well. Yeah, it's not receive well. Not receive well. Do you, do you yeah. think that's what he's doing right now? Yes. That, the, everything that he <laughs> has done has been to show them mm. 
you know, and, and what, what, what do you mean by everything? Like, what's the, what's the first thing that pops in your head in terms of him? Because this is all strategic. Right. It, what, what do you think that he you was doing? He didn't show up for the playoffs. He didn't show up for the end of the season. Yes. Leading to the playoffs. Playoffs. And the thing, the thing that counts Whew. is your legacy of what you have done in the playoffs. And your legacy right now doesn't bode well for the uh, forty-five plus million dollars that you want per year, gear wrong teed. That's what he's asking for. Yes. What's throwing a wrench into this whole deal? So let's go ahead and back it up. Lamar Jackson received the non-exclusive franchise tag from the Baltimore Ravens. Why would they put a non? exclusive tag on somebody that they obviously hold in high regard that they right. obviously know is their franchise quarterback who's been the MVP who's taken them through the playoffs who's done all these things he's immaculate he's amazing why would they give other teams the opportunity to present an offer to him well the way I see it yes sir is I'd say it for two years ago mm-hmm. I I, I, I you and you in church, you yep. know, you and Barry Church, who will soon to be on our show. Absolutely. One of our boys that we roll with, I y'all be like, he gonna get his money. I'm like, y'all, not from the Ravens. Mm. Because he, the he, Ravens, I, I can affirm he did say that, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not tuning his own. He did say that. <laughs> he did. They said it. One thing about me is it's certain players yeah. that I can go in the NBA that I've never dealt with. Okay. Uh you get a read on them. Yeah. Yeah. This kid, as much as I liked him at Louisville, and as much as I thought he should have been a two time player of the year in college, I knew that if he didn't, what's the word, mature correctly. Now, I do fault the Ravens for not maturing him, and, and but you can't force a dude to study and Correct. to read coverages like, like you. You knew all of this. Yes. He, I, I doubt he know what you know. But anyway, now it's become personal. Yes, it has. When did it, when did it become personal? <sighs> and, and, and there's two sides to it, Nate. Yeah, I understand. Because yeah, it's, it's very difficult. I know a lot of times as most fans, okay, I imagine most people listening in are fans. From a fan perspective, people are, are brand loyal. Yes. Okay, yes. they're loyal to the brand. brand yes, yes, the brand is the Cowboys, the Baltimore Ravens, whatever it is. That's a brand, okay? It's a team, but it's a doggone brand. Okay, you're buying their clothes, you're rocking it. You might as well be a tattoo on right. most people, okay? Right. People are brand loyal, and they fail to understand that these are human beings right. that have small windows of opportunity right. to take advantage of their position that they have got themselves to along with whoever their support system is, right. to this point in their life. From the time, most likely, that they were youth. I started playing football at 13. Most, right. I don't know when you started. when you was, yeah. they, hey, But most people start when they were really young, mm-hmm. and you work every single day, and you get yourself, if you're blessed to get to that position to where you're in a position to have some very strategic contract talks, you don't miss that window. That's right. You don't miss that opportunity because it's not – coming back around. Right. Nobody's sitting here calling us right now, Nate, trying to offer us millions of dollars, okay? <laughs> it's not happening. So right. there's one time in your life, if you're really, really lucky, twice in your life, depending on the type of player you are, mm-hmm. where you get to be in that position. So I don't fault Lamar Jackson for trying to get everything that he That's possibly right. can. On the flip side, people look at it and say, well, he's being selfish, <laughs> He's not looking out for the organization. The organization's done this for him and done that for him. and all. Absolutely. But look what he's done for the organization. Yes. Right? So I, I encourage people to look at things from both ends of the aisle because Lamar Jackson has sat there, done his contractual obligations, okay? When contractual obligations start running out, we're going to contractual talks start, start up, and he's like, okay, now, Every time I go out here, I risk ending my career. And every, even though I'm still under contract, I'm still, I'm still signed up to do my job. Historically, most organizations who hold their quarterback in high regard don't allow their guys to get to this point uh, in where they feel like they have to start making some quote-unquote business decisions. Would you agree? I agree 100%. Okay. So I'm just saying, because most people, they, they look at it like, oh, how dare him? It's like, yes, yes, he is under contract. Yes, he was under contract when he sustained his injury, and he was probably healthy enough to play, right? But right. because they weren't 
doing what he's seen other organizations do in terms of protecting their guys. He's like, why am I being treated differently? I've been an MVP. Right. We've been in the playoffs every year. Like, why am I not getting what those guys got? And the team is saying what? Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of you. Right? There's no sense of security in, hey, we got you. There's, there's no security there, Nate. There's no dotted. There's nothing on the dotted line. You know, you know who he saw have that agreement? Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas had that agreement. You remember that? Yeah. Hey, Earl, don't sit out. Come back and play. Just You know we're going to take care of you. And then what did Earl do? Went out there. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Went out there and broke his leg. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Went out there and broke his leg. Who then get, gets all the... Gets the or the 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 uh, the benefactor who's the benefactor of negotiations at that point in time. That's right. It turned into the Seahawks. So oh. I say all to say I can't fault Lamar Jackson. He also not only does he have that in his mind. Okay, this is somebody who was a really good player, Earl Thomas, who broke his leg after doing what he said he was going to do based upon his contract. But the t- organization hadn't secured him yet. Right. We'll take care of you. Just just keep doing what you're doing. We'll take care of you. No security there, broke his leg, worst case scenario. Also has a Deshaun Watson who hasn't achieved half of what Lamar Jackson has attained. And that owner, that organization at Cleveland screwed the whole league because Deshaun Watson had a fully guaranteed contract. Fully. And when I say fully, $230 million guaranteed. All of it, Nate. Not half the player that Lamar has shown to be. So now when Lamar goes to the table, why would I accept less? Somebody always resets the market. I, I, you know what? And that is where we as a league and we as players uh, have gone overboard. Mm. You've taken a, a high-profile position and just – Taken in the hyperspace. Absolutely. You've taken average quarterbacks, a slightly above average quarterbacks, and put them in, in a world or a realm that yep. no mere mortal can stand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, I agree with you. I, I, I love Lamar, but once you stop uh, maturing, mm. as far as how you become a player because they saw it. The Ravens saw it, but you said the wrong things. Yes. I I wouldn't have been saying, we're going to take care of you. We got you. We got you in high regard. I would have been saying Lamar, hey, man, get an agent before this get personal. Because once it became personal, now Lamar's mom is a part of his negotiations. Mm. His uncle is a part. You're not going to look out for family? I'm going to look out for family. So now it's personal. And so if Lamar can get anybody to bite, he's gone. So so to that point, good transition. Yeah. To that point, Nate, helping people understand the non-exclusive tag that yeah. the Baltimore opted to place on him, not the exclusive. Right. They put exclusive means you're mine. That's right. Nobody can touch you. You're my girlfriend. You're my girl. Yeah, you're I'm my gonna... girlfriend. And the only way I get rid of you is I got to get rid of you. You ain't going nowhere. Absolutely. Lady yeah. on Bell style. That's right. What they did, Lady on Bell, right? You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. And Lady on Bell sit trying home. to play hardball. Yeah, sit right? home if you want. Yeah, and that killed him. Yeah. You didn't see Lady on Bell no more that briefly yeah. after that. It was, his career was done. Done. Okay, so hardball when your franchise tag is not the, really the thing to do. Right. So they gave him the non exclusive, which pretty much said, you think you can get better than what we're offering you? Let's see. I like you, but mm. not that much. I'll let you entertain other people. Yeah. You can date. We, let's date, we, other, let's date other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's date other <laughs> so, people. Yeah. So now they're checking them. Oh, yeah. They're checking them. Oh, you think that you, okay, let's see. And he almost immediately, Nate, I don't know if you saw it. There's about five teams that came out and said, we're out. We don't want nothing to do with them. Whether that's because they already have solid quarterback situations or whether they just don't want the headache of dealing with Lamar Jackson. There was about five teams I think I saw yesterday that came out and said, we're out the sweepstakes for Lamar. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. This, this is what... This is what I... Uh, when you... 
when you when you are elite in your mind, mm-hmm. but the film don't say you are elite, or you're on your high horse. Your injuries have mounted up to the point where, yeah, you elite, but <laughs> see, and let me explain what I'm saying. If Lamar could throw just a touch better, <sighs> we would not be having this conversation. It, I, I, I agree. I, I agree. Nate. I, I'm telling you now. You know what he's asking for? The, the murmurs. Was the rumors right. are, are that are going around? Okay, Lamar. Lamar Jackson is comparing himself to who? He's comparing himself to Deshaun Watson. I think Deshaun Watson's getting right. like what 45 million a year, something right. like that. Guaranteed. Right. Guaranteed. Right. That's what Lamar is seemingly is. What right. it sounds like he's asking for. Who's the best quarterback in the league right now? Oh, that's that's the kid in KC, bro. Did you know that he's not in the top five in terms of average salary per year well, at see, that position? And that, and it's hard to sell, bro. Bec- because th- this is why I keep telling you the <laughs> league got it twisted. This is why I keep. You can go down, and one thing about it, uh, and I learned this from Prime: get all the money you can. Uh huh. But once I figure out that you're not worth it, I have the right to talk about you. Get, get, Isaiah, we can pay you here yeah, at yeah. Dub. We can pay you 100 mil. Yeah, yeah, do that. But if you slip, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get I'm you. Hold your account. Now, I know it don't matter. Yeah. Because you're getting your 100 mil. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> you hear that, Dub? You hear that? <laughs> yeah. Nate's my, so, he's made my agent now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I. Nate, I, I'm so, so 40, so he, so. So the, the number one quarterback in the league is I, not in the top five in salaries. Facts. I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the top five okay, okay, top five okay. salaries at the quarterback. And I'm gonna position. say what are they worth? Top five position, okay? Top five quarterbacks, it's, highest paid quarterbacks right. in the league. Aaron Rodgers, fifty point two million dollars. He's not worth it. Mm. He's not. You said John Wick's not worth he's it. He's not worth it. Ooh. Not fifty two mil. We don't have enough time for talking not about that today. Not fifty two mil. I love. Dude, 50, that's my number one quarterback. Fifty point two million. Yeah. Okay? Not worth it. Number two. <laughs> Russell Wilson. Not worth it. Fifty million dollars and not worth it. Number three, Kyler Murray. Forty nine point two million dollars. I ain't going to respond to that. Number four, Deshaun Watson. Forty six million dollars. Number five, Josh Allen. Forty five point nine. Now we getting some well. Russell Wilson, 50 million, no playoffs. Kyler Murray, 49.2, no playoffs. Deshaun Watson, 46 million. Ain't played. No playoffs. And Ain't played. played. Three of your top five didn't make the playoffs. What happened, Nate? We are, we are as a league, and I'm not an owner, so I'm not the yeah, league. Yeah. You, you you are misjudging talent badly. And we are overpaying guys on what we hope for mm. and not what, what we've, we've seen. seen. Yes, sir. It, it you know, they get, and they, you can you if they give it Jesus contract. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it's two it's two guys I'll pay. Okay. The one in Kansas City. Mahomes. And the one for the Cincinnati Bengals. Yep. I'll pay them. Okay. Those two are going to be going because at it for a long time. I've seen, yeah, and John Wicks for a little bit less, maybe forty three okay. or forty two, and that's a yeah, that's almost ten million dollars. I'll pay him okay. because I've seen these guys. Tom Brady no longer plays. Correct. I've seen these guys with way less, way less talent. Correct. Don't tell me. Kyler Murray ain't had no talent. I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me that. That boy had the guy, Bob and Fitzgerald. Was in Texas. He didn't have a few players. <laughs> I've seen these guys yeah. do more or less. Now the only one I haven't seen do more or less, Josh. and he started this year. No, was um, Kansas City kid. Kansas City kid always had some players. Oh, we have Mahomes. Yeah, yeah Mahomes and is they, already had. But that's the organization. Yeah. They find it and they yeah. find it for the low. Right. They put talent around him for the low, low. Yeah, yeah. And they're so now, confident in their system. They're like Tyreek. Go ahead. We got you. We got a replacement yeah. now. 
just these, this is last year, John Wick, and we're talking about Aaron Rodgers. Yes. He finally said, well, I really ain't got no talent. You know, I got young yeah. talent that's coming up. He about to leave anyway. Yeah, he about to leave, and he, he walking into the Jets. Yep. He 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 going to find out New York is different than Green Bay. Yeah, I'm not sure he how gonna he's going to respond to that. He's going to find out. <laughs> You, you want attention? You about to yeah. get that attention? Yeah, you're gonna get everything <laughs> you want. All of it, and you can't be telling people around here. You, you, you. <laughs> At the filming of this show, y'all, Aaron Rodgers has not signed with the Jets, but the Packers have given him permission to yeah. talk with the Jets. So it's about to happen. They need to get that cap money. They need to get that fifty mil off their cap. They, they, that's all in one. They're year. They're frustrated with him. They're ready to move on to Jordan Love. Yeah, they're tired of the games. But we, we're all over the place here today. Mm. But the bottom line is, and like I told Isaiah as we was getting ready for this show, it is about seven or eight quarterbacks that are eating up at least 15 to maybe 20% of their cap and has not performed. Mm -hmm. And that's sad. Can I make one comment? What's that? Which running back in the league has the most guaranteed money? I don't know, probably the guy for the Titans, Big Henry. They about to get rid of him. Yeah. Yeah. Ezekiel Elliott. The reason I didn't say Zeke, who's sitting at 16.5 mil, I think, and the reason I didn't say Zeke is because Je- uh, June, that, that's going to be that's gonna be a, what you call a casualty. Yeah, that's going to be a cap casualty, yeah. yeah. You don't think that he's going to be the team next year? Uh. We even spoke about Zeke for ye- for two years in a row. I know me, Church, yep. and Isaiah has been loving Zeke. Correct. But I noticed a drop off this year, yeah. a, a significant drop off. It was evident. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what I try to tell people. You know, everybody keeps saying, "Well, they didn't offer Demarcus Ware when he." I think they should have offered Demarcus. Uh, now, now, Dez is a different animal. Mm-hmm. Because Dez was such an alpha male on the team, to he could have been disruptive. Yeah. And then especially at lower money, he probably would have yeah. been disruptive. But I think people say, well, you don't want to disrespect. How do you disrespect somebody Talk to who me. was drafted? And before you this ain't this ain't the new Talk to college. Him, Talk to him. See, the new college, you can you can possibly be getting paid millions Come of dollars. Come on now. In the new college, but well, where Zeke come from, what they was, what they were sliding him on the table, I don't know. But Ohio State, I will offer him something. If it ain't but two, I was like, you look at him, man. I know you finna cuss me out, Isaiah, yeah. but I want to offer you two mil, or three mil, or maybe four point five. That's the most I go, Isaiah. I'm gonna let you tell me no. I'm gonna let you Is take that a swing at me. They say it's disrespectful. Me, I will offer something. Yeah. You know, now if I don't want to sign him, I just say I don't want to sign Correct. him. Correct. But I'm gonna offer you something. Okay. How much money? We can get ready to get out of here. How much money as as Nate Newton, the Dallas Cowboys uh interim general manager? Three point five. I already know. I'll say Zeke, I know you made sixteen point five. Uh-huh. But this is what this is what we can give you to help this team win. This, and, and it's as it stands today, and, Nate. And, and it's so, and the people, and Nate, that is so ugly. You have back Zeke. You love Zeke. It's so disrespectful that, to make so three million dollars. But Zeke, I'm going to give you $3.5 million. Uh-huh. And you know what, Zeke? And you can, you can, you can, just don't spit on me. You can slap at me. You can swing at me, but just don't spit on me. $3.5 you know, million. That, that, that's all I can offer you because I cannot. $205,000 a game. Yeah, and I, you know what? And I That's can't. disrespect, Nate. Okay, all right. Two hundred five thousand dollars a game is okay. disrespectful. Okay, all right. I I shake your hand. I shake your hand because this is what I'm looking at. So he gonna go from eight hundred thousand dollars a game to two hundred thousand dollars a game. You know, Kmart got a a blue light special always going on. You know, it's always a blue light special cable. All right, you all right. either we either can get a little something, yeah, or walk out of there with nothing. Absolutely. All so, right. and, and 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 this is a guy who, on every channel, every podcast, me and you have done over the yeah. years, don't disrespect Zeke. Yeah, yeah. The disrespect is not to offer him something. Nothing. To say Zeke, man, we just gonna let you go. Yeah. And then because I guess it's all right 
if he go to Seattle and sign for three point five mil. Oh, you go. Oh, we don't need it. That's what you gonna tell me, right? <laughs> but it, <laughs> we, we, we will welcome you with open arms, there, Mister Z. But at three point five mil. At three point five. Because ain't nobody gonna no. give Z. No. Okay. Let's say what the most you think, and I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. What's the most you think out there someone would give Zeke at five. this point in his career? Five, five, five. Most. And, no, we can't do that because we can't. What is what is Tony? Tony, what? Ten. No, we can't do that. How much money do you want to allocate to that room as it stands right I, now? I, I, as I it stands right now, that we, room is consuming twenty six million dollars. And, and as it stands right now, I can't let it be over thirteen point five. Yesterday on my other pack, as I said, fifteen. It was like nineteen I, last year, donate. I can't have that. 19, so you're going to go down in value from last yes. year. Yes. Okay. See. So more cap money available, but you want to go down in allocation of funds towards that room. Yes, sir. Because okay. I'm going to tell you something. Where you, where you, where you, where you, where you, if you you're not, to? if you're not good enough as a coach, one thing I've learned is, is one position that I don't devalue. Uh huh. I let the player tell me it's value. Okay. I don't devalue Tony Pollard. I I applaud that he's able to get this, but we, I hope we use him. Yeah. Now, uh, Davis, we got to find out what he is. Malik. Malik Davis. And now Zeke is an insurance policy. Ooh, if something go wrong, Zeke knows the offense. He's there. He's a he's a team player. That is my insurance policy. But I can't have my insurance policy sitting at nine thousand nine million dollars. So that's a three million dollar. Then I got to play that. I, look at him, man. I got to play this policy. I'm sorry. You got to play him anyway because he's the only one that can block. They, go out and find someone. <laughs> Get an extra guy. Hey. Have four running backs. Y'all Who here play special teams. Y'all hear Nate right here. You know what I was saying? Okay, this is my bold statement of the day. Okay, saying it with my chest. Okay, Nate. with your chest. I don't disagree with you. Mm-hmm. I think the room was nineteen million dollars was allocated towards the running back room for the Dallas Cowboys last year. I think that needs to go down, even right. though the cap room has gone up. Right. Take that down. Where you gonna say, well, what are you gonna do with the leftover money that you have? Right. More cap, less in that room. Take that money. Go out there and get you two, two Pro Bowl interior office alignment. Thank you. And it doesn't you. matter who you put in the backfield; they are gonna be successful. I just said it with my chest, Nate, dog. Yes, sir. That's how we're going to shut it down today here on Let Me Tell You Something. Glad to have you back, big Nate, dog. I know you're going to hit the road again on us one of these days. <laughs> one of these days soon. We might have to do a show from the road one day. Yeah, well, I, will, I will. I'll be zooming in from next week. <laughs> I'm but sure. let me tell you something, man. <laughs> I'm sure. Viagra. We flushed it. Na- Niagara. <laughs> Niagara. Niagara. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I knew I wasn't. I knew one day I was gonna say Viagra. I knew one day I was gonna say Viagra. It's Niagara. I knew. We see you next week. I knew one day I was gonna do that. My mind ain't good. I'm 61 years old, y'all. I'm sorry, Niagara. It's not Viagra. Yeah. All right. Oh God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh God. Wow. Oh, we Bye, y'all. Up. 